Hey guys, Raphael here again today and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a um, QR code scanner. So in the previous video we showed you how to make a QR code generator. So we're gonna take it one step further and this time we're actually going to scan QR codes and I'll be showing it in the end of the video the actual finished product. So this is um, much um, more difficult to do than the first one. But um, as always, enjoy enjoy making it, and let's get right into the coding right now. Okay, everyone, this is going to be um, one of the best and ex most exciting programming tutorials I have made. So let's get right into this. So let's um, for this video, I'm using version 8.3.3 because at the time of the recording, this is the latest Xcode version available. So let's go and head and click on create a new Xcode project. We want a single view application under iOS, and hit next. Now, product's name, I'm going to call mine, I'll do QR code tutorial. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, how to make a QR code scanner. Like, in the previous part, we made a QR code generator. This time, it's, we're going to make, we're going to actually use the camera in our iPhone for this. Now, programming language is set to Swift. It has to be Swift or else, um, or else you, this code, this will not work because, um, in my previous tutorials, I use Objective-C, but this time I'm going to be using Swift. So, devices is going to be universal. Uh, use core data, you can leave it on ticks, not really important. Click Next. I'm saving save it up anywhere you want to. I'm saving it up in my coding workspace. And here, underneath our deployment info, we're going to untick landscape left and landscape right. Because what our we're building our app for portrait mode. And a deployment target, make sure that is iOS version 10.0. So it is saying that um you need at least version iOS 10 if you want to run this application at all and tick requires full screen so that's all done for now and we're gonna import in an image so let me get my image out you can see here it is we're gonna be using the square.png so that is um when it detects a QR code it is gonna be in between inside this image view so let's drag in a square right now and uh, make sure add a target is ticked and Copy items if needed is also ticked, and simply hit finish. So this image view is um once we use the camera app and once we once a QR code is detected inside this, it will um it will um output a link. So that's what we're gonna design right now in our main that storyboard. So quickly head over to your main storyboard and over here search click this and search for an image view. So let me do image view. And as we want it to be a square, so let's make sure the width and the height are exactly the same. So 240 by 240, just like that. So I'm gonna put it in the center, and I'm gonna um, call it square dot png. So just like that. Then, <clears throat> so we don't. That's all we have to do for now. We don't have to do anything else. So let's go over here, bring up our assistant editor, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna type in a few. We're gonna program some stuff. So let's do import found AV foundation, I'm sorry. Now over here we're gonna um put in a delegate. So I'm gonna do a comma AV capture metadata output object delegate. Just like that. So let me zoom in just so you guys can see it properly. Make sure everything is capitalized properly because let's say make this lowercase. If I, if it's lowercase it will give you an error and that is why it will not work. So make sure everything is capitalized exactly how I typed it in okay so now we're gonna declare a oops let me space that up we're gonna declare a variable so var video space equals space av capture video preview layer open parentheses close parentheses just like that now we're gonna um now we're gonna now let me um we're gonna um control click or right click and drag it over here and then we're gonna call this um let's see you can call it probably square it doesn't have to be that um or you can call it image view or whatever I'm just gonna call it square just because um, it really is a square connection outlet type is a UI image view and storage is set to weak and then connect that so let's so yeah, that's done for that's done for now that's done we have linked up our square and um we have also declared an outlet for that so let's go to our view control that's Swift this time. And let's get right into the programming. Let me get rid of that because it's taking up some space. So over here, we're gonna um code in our view did load um method. So let's space that out a little. I'll space it out a little bit, and we're gonna um c 
create a session. So let session equals av uh, capture session, and we're going to do open parentheses, close parentheses. So slash slash define capture device. This will say let capture device space equals space av capture device dot default device and then choose with media type the string is going to be called av media type video just like that and I'm gonna type in do open parentheses and then and space it out it will um it will automatically put in the close parentheses for you so that's good and let input space equals space try av capture device input and then um bracket device then av capture call be called capture device make sure it is make sure this is exactly how you call this or else it will not work and xcode will give you an error and it can also create it will create errors along the way so lastly all we need to do is add is add in the session so add in session to add input and input again make sure this is what you call this I'm highlighting it all just so you guys can see it properly just like that okay so now next we're gonna do in um let me see what error is there sorry don't worry um catch it will that, that will probably fix in the future like when I'm gonna code this for the first time it has an error too catch and then print this is what this is if there's any error so let's type in error probably like error error so it's, all right so so that's done now see the error fixed by itself so that's good for us um uh, underneath here so make sure you are not in the catch method so space it out a little bit make sure make sure it is underneath this close parenthesis so you have to go underneath this and we're going to type we're going to um declare an output so let output space equals space av capture uh, meta data output the second option, two o then open parentheses and close parentheses. Then we're, we're gonna do session dot uh, add oops out add output, and this is gonna say output just just like how you called um this. So it has to be exactly exactly again just like last time. So I'm gonna space it out. And I'm gonna do output dot set meta data object delegate. And we're gonna do self, and then for the queue, it's gonna be it's gonna say dispatch queue dot main, and we're gonna do output dot metadata object types space equals space bracket av meta object type QR code. Now this one is very important. You need to get this to QR code because you can also do type um you can do the um U UPC code Aztec code. But for this tutorial, um, for this tutorial, as I said before, we're gonna be doing QR code, so it has to be ex has to be on um, AV metadata object type QR code it has to be like that. <clears throat> and then video, then video here, then on um, space equals. Now the video has to match whatever you called the, your um variable over here. So my, I called mine video. That's why I'm typing video over here. Video space equals space AV capture video preview layer. Then bracket session, and then we're gonna call it session. Cause that we called we called session over here, so it has to match again. It has to match, or else you'll be throw you'll be thrown errors if it doesn't match at all. Now here is where we are going to make the um camera fill the whole screen. So this fill the entire screen. Will be video dot frame space equals space view dot uh, layer dot bound just like that. So it's now it's gonna fill up the entire screen. I I made a comment here just so I don't have to explain it all in detail. So there, we're gonna type in view dot layer space. Oh sorry, no need for space. Actually, add sub layer and that is video. Well, then self dot view dot bring sub view to front and that is going to be the square. So then we're gonna, then now we're going to um we're going to start the session up. So now to do that this will say start the session and that will be session dot start running. Okay. 
Okay, so now oh, now we, we need to go under here. This is gonna be the cap. We're gonna um declare capture output. So do funk, and then we're gonna do capture output. And let me get let me let me re let me retype that in because that that messed up quite a lot. So let's capture output this very first one. Then we can type in coding over here. I'm sorry, I just had to um retype it in because it kind of messed up the um the lines. So capture output bracket underscore capture output colon space av capture output exclamation mark. Make sure that make sure this is correct or else this is very um this is very easy to mess up. So make sure this is correct. Everything here is correct. So assuming I'll give you guys some time to check it out. So this put this did put metadata objects metadata objects any from from connection av capture connection so let me undo that all right so then we're going to we're going to type an if statement so if space metadata objects we're doing we're going to do an if statement over here then space okay exclamation mark equals this is forcing equals nil space then um two um two and signs and metadata objects that count exclamation mark equals set to zero space that out and we're gonna do a, another if statement so if let object equals space metadata objects and then bracket uh, zero bracket dot uh, no for dot a as exclamation mark av metadata machine read readable code object I'm sorry guys, this is very, I have to focus here very well, this is, even I messed this up quite a few times as well, when I first did this. Then we're going to do if object type, so object dot type equals equals, base av metadata found object type QR code. And then I'm going to space that out again. Now here we, now we're going to, now we're going to program quite a lot of stuff here, so stay, stay with me here. Let alert space equals space UI alert uh, controller then bracket title and now for the title the string here we're gonna do um two open speech marks and and then here will be QR code the message is gonna be object dot string value preferred style is gonna be um dot alert we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna drop a line and we're gonna type in alert dot add action and the action is gonna be UI alert action and bracket title and then here again two open speech marks title is gonna be dot default handler is gonna be nil and this is gonna say retake and then la lastly we, we can just um copy and paste actually no we can retype it out actually Alert that add action. I'm gonna type it out. We're just gonna type it out because um, if you're new to programming, I suggest you type it out so you get used to it. Because um, copying and pasting will, is easier, but you, you're not really practicing it. So I suggest you typing it out like how I'm doing it right now. So alert action, and then bracket, and this will say title, just like earlier. This will say uh, copy. So when when um, what this is gonna say is that um, when we take a when we get a QR code, we'll get two options. There will be the retake option, which we can press retake and we can retake the QR code once again, or we can copy it so we can copy the link into our um, Safari. So style is gonna is gonna be dot def default. <laughs> Sorry about that, um, because it's quite long. Then it's gonna say handler. Um, open speech marks is gonna say um bracket nil. Then um bracket again. This will say in. And then go you. Uh, actually, no, we can erase those two. In UI paste board dot generals. This is this is the code. If we're gonna paste the link, equals object dot string value. So what this is is that once we press the copy button, when we press that, it will um it will automatically copy it for us, and we can um simply copy and paste it into our um into our you know our web browser. And then I'm gonna end that with a with two close brackets. So that that that's all done for now. I'm sorry guys, that was quite a long that was quite long to type out, but um that's all done. You did very proud of you if you guys um cop if you guys um kept up, very proud of you. So let's 
Last, we're going to do present, and then bracket, uh, alert, and then comma, animated, and this will be true, and comma, um, completion, and this will say nil. Okay, so let's see, um, so let's, so let's, let's um, go over here to our main storyboard, see if we got everything correctly linked up, and, um, let's see, uh, if you, let's, open this again I had to um, remove that because it took up too much space and that was hard to code in there so make sure it is linked up so my square is linked up here because this is where our this is where the QR code is going to be detected in and um to recap everything this this here is gonna be um this retake over here is saying if you want to retake it so if you want to retake a new QR code if you want to retake the QR code you can press the retake and it will go back to the camera or if you want to um, press the copy button, you can press copy and then it will automatically copy the link that that is um, that has been outputted to you. And um, here, here in um, here in session, that's here in here we have um, brought we have um, said that we can show our square in the while well, it's in the camera. So, and in info the p list over here in our um, let's see if we have we had to type in here as well. We press the plus. This will say privacy camera usage description. I think I forgot to um put do that in the beginning of the video. And this will say can I use the camera? So what this is saying is that um it will ask you for it will ask you if you wanna if it will if you want to allow it to use a camera. So you can all options you can deny it if you want to or you can allow it. If you want it to work, you will have to allow it. So this is what it will ask you. This is ask, this is what we did in our info the P list. And um, so that's that's done. We have created the QR code reader. So ma make sure everything is um, typed in correctly. And um, we will let's click build and run. So here's the sample of the application. Um, as you can see, the camera is working as well. And once we make it detected, as you can see now, I have a QR code and the link is shown as well. And there's the retake and copy. So that is so. This is the um, QR code. Um, QR code scanner is now working, and um, I guess that is that is it for the video. Thank you all very much for watching. However, though, there's still something you need to know. Um, if you run it in a simulator, it crashes. So let's say I do the iPhone 7. It a it actually tends to crash on the simulator. So you might need to um use an actual iOS device. Like, let me demonstrate to you first. So th there's not y y there's nothing else to do. You guys are already finished. I'm just gonna be showing you why the simulator crashes um but in an actual you might as well you might need an actual iOS device to test out your um application so let me z let me make it load up like that and as you can see it crashed so it it might not it might not work in a simulator so just um giving you a heads up before you um, ask that question in the comments but um, but it tends to work on an iPad or an actual iPhone. So, anyway, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next um coding tutorial.